Charles Jack. I'm General Manager of the Western Grand Superintendent here in Bangkok. I'm Charles Reitman. I'm the Managing Director of Naturalville in Lenault, which is part of the ECHO Group. I'm Michael Zetek, the General Manager of Imperial Queen's Park Hotel here in the stunning metropolis of Bangkok. Really, when I first came out of school, um, I started working in hospitality because I didn't in some ways know what to do. When I was in school, uh, hospitality became interesting just through a friend who, who got me introduced to outside caterings. I'm very happy to tell you at the age of 17, I started as a dishwasher in India. I went to Australia in 92. I had one of the best experiences in my life working in Australia. I loved it so much, I became an Australian citizen in 1995, enjoyed every moment of it. Moving to Thailand from Melbourne particularly, which is such a cosmopolitan and culturally exciting city, uh, to come up to my first time in Thailand, which was actually on a remote isolated beach resort, was complete opposites of the spectrum. And my arrival into the island resort was effectively, I was dropped off on the boat by my senior manager at the time. He introduced me to the staff. He got back on the boat and left. When I first arrived in Thailand, um, the difference between, uh, I suppose, the culture of, of of the, the workforce in Australia and Thailand, the first thing that struck me was there's so many people doing everything. When I opened this property, we focused mainly on getting multi-skilling happening here. And every hotel has got hundreds of staff all over the place. We decided to go right from the beginning, the Australian style. I have the lowest ratio of staff to rooms in this country. We also, after 10 years, have the lowest staff turnover in this country, mainly because we introduced the Australian multi-skilling program into this property right from the beginning. And it worked to perfection. My arrival um, into PP Island, the, the beautiful island resort, was actually only uh, six months before the tsunami, the Asian tsunami come through. So at the same time that I'm learning and developing with the people about the culture and the environment, hit with a catastrophic disaster, if you like, that affected uh, not just the island, but obviously the greater uh, Andaman community. However, uh, from a challenge perspective, if you like, it was a particularly difficult time for my, my element of the operation, but also for, for greater Thailand, for greater Asia, I, I, I suspect, in terms of what was going on. We've seen, obviously, coup, we've seen riots, we've seen floods. One of the, one of the challenges, I suppose, is, is, is keeping the, the unit together and keeping the team together as well. The floods affected most of our staff rather than the customers. Our staff that affected, we, we gave all our staff free accommodation in our property as their properties were flooded and they couldn't go back home. We also did look after them in terms of their accommodation, their food, their health care. Everything was taken care of by us because they had nowhere else to go. It, it's a human industry. Hospitality is about serving people. It's about creating those experiences and developing and creating memories for, for people. And you cannot do that unless you're getting the best out of your staff that can deliver the best for your guests. And it opens your mind to all of these different perspectives. You learn from the different challenges that different industries or different cultures are facing. And it actually makes you a, a, a more rounded person, in, whether professionally or personally. When we talk about the three facets of the service profit chain, it's really what I believe is, is, is a success for hospitality. Um, because without the people, your building is just a bricks and mortar, you know, it really, it's nothing, it has no life, it has no soul. Um, and the people are what makes it come to life to look after our customers.
if you have it in you to be a people's person, no matter what kind of people you meet in our industry, as long as you as an individual can adapt yourself to dealing with different characters, different kinds of people, you are guaranteed success.